Brain, and today we are talking about 3D, but more specifically, using 3D as a reference in Harmony. Have you ever tried to add a 3D object to your scene with the intention of tracing over it or like using it as a sort of reference, only to have your drawing layer go through the 3D model? Like if I'm trying to trace that lovely leg of that cool feline, it's not working! Well, if that happened to you, it happened to me too, it happens to everyone, and I absolutely hate it, and so does everyone else. So this thing is usually what kind of discourage people from using 3D as reference or at all into their project. And I think that's so unfortunate because the way to fix it is incredibly easy. First of all, this is a 3D model I made to help me out with Bad and Being Good, which is the cool project I'm working on. If you want more information, go check on my Discord. And this is Tiger. She is a cool ghost snow leopard. And it's a very nice character, but it's also a quadruped and it's got lots of details and stuff. And it's kind of hard to use it as a rig for certain poses. So yeah, I made a 3D model of that cool feline to help me out into my ordeal. <laughs> So that model was made in Maya, but it could have been made into Blender or most of your 3D software. It just needs to be an FBX, so that's what I had. If you don't know how to import or deal with your 3D assets, I have so many videos about it, so check it out. But basically, all you need to do is go to File, Import, 3D Model, and just find any model that you have and just import it. FBX is always the best format. What if you want to trace over it? You just need a drawing layer and then a 3D model. And whenever I have something that I want to use as reference, I always put it under its own composite. So I'm just going to take my 3D model, press on Ctrl H. It's Ctrl H even on a Mac, and then connect it to my main composite. I do this because then I can maintain my real composite as a regular composite. And then the one I'm going to use for 3D, I will go into its settings. And in here you have a bunch of little settings you can play with. And one of them is the input ordering. So by default, it is always 3D flat. But if you want to use your 3D model as a reference, you should set it to 2D. So yeah, you get your composite, you set it to 2D. Then what this is going to do is if you have a drawing layer and you connect it on top here, it will make your drawing appear in front of the 3D model. And if you want the drawing to be behind or anything, uh, you can just connect it behind and then it's going to set it behind. However, if you look at your model into the perspective view, it will still show you the actual real life result, which is a 3D model getting cut in half by a drawing. This will only be true into your camera view. So it's very important to remember that. <laughs> so using 3D as a reference is not that much harder. And if you want to make your life even more easy, you can get a tune shader and you can still connect it to your model right here. Even if it's on a composite set to 2D, this doesn't make any difference. And as you can see now, I will be able to trace my model with ease. However, as you can see now, my model is a lot opaque, so it's kind of hard to trace over it. Always remember you can get some effects on your models as well. So uh, here, let me get some little room. I have my tune shader and everything. If you want, you can get a transparency node and you will be able to connect it under your model and make it transparent. However, this is only gonna work in Harmony 25 and after. If you're using Harmony 24, because uh, these kind of effects were not yet supported in OpenGL in Harmony 24 and before, you would need to add a render preview node under it. This means that your model is gonna get transparency and stuff and it's gonna get processed as a render and then it's gonna be put into your OpenGL. In Harmony 25, you don't need it if you activated the preferences that allows you to do so. So it is into the OpenGL section, into FX. You know, you need to allow it to render FX and a bunch of other things like try them out. I don't remember by heart, <laughs> but I think just rendering effect is the right one to put. And then, yeah, this is going to allow you to see your 3D model with some transparency. And uh, yeah, it's going to make it easier to trace over it. And the fun thing with the 3D model is that even though I have my model, I put the tune shader, the transparency node, and I have my composite set to 2D, even with all of this, you're still able to click on your model. And if it's a rig, you can still animate all these bones and move them and make your pose different and all that. Like all these effects don't change from the fact that you can use your model in your scene. Like these effects are just added on top, but if you remove them or unplug them or whatever, like you still have access to your model just as normal. It's just an extra way for you to use it as a reference. So I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to see you again next week. Goodbye.